Of course, controlling carbohydrate is always better approach for everyone. Our first Islam who used to eat, his table we had always yogurt, healthy fat. When we think about eating a healthy fat, we like to always burn fat. We like to have a steak. That is the one NIH declared that it's a carcinogens. There's a big misconception though in our society with a healthy nutritious food. A lot of time, suppose healthy fat. Our Prophet Islam who used to eat, his table we had always yogurt, healthy fat, and with some you know good gut flora. His Islam had he used to like always sometimes he used to like meat. He had a olive oil, pure fat, right? He had bread, uh, he had some other uh, food, plants, always part of his food and dates and stuff. Suppose we have olive oil here, avocado, nuts, grass-fed meat, wild-caught fish. That's the one our healthy fat. But when we think about eating a healthy fat, we like to always burn fat. We like to have a steak. That is the one NIH declared that it's a carcinogens. When you burn tissue, that's carcinogens. That's making the cancer. And you, you know, cancer rate is almost hitting 30% death coming from cancer. Imagine half of us gonna go die, heart attack or stroke, 30% gonna die with a cancer. So we don't have a guarantee to die as a regular death. We don't want that. And the data saying that if we continue eating that wrong food, in 20 years, this cancer rate is gonna go hit 48%, 48 to 49%. And we have to get the right fat instead of the wrong one. And there's a lot of research showing that how fat is important because remember I said, constant regeneration of our healthy body cell that coming from healthy fat support because every cell membrane made of fat our hormone our vitamins fat soluble vitamins our brain is a four pound fat fatty organ this made of mostly fat our our cartilage our major hormone that we need that's made of fat especially cell membranes need a fully bilayer fatty level layer that's research showing that how fat is important. A lot of people will try to connect fat with a cardiovascular disease. But American Journal of Clinical Nutrition clearly declared that the trans fat have no connection, no relation, no, no, no evidence causing CBD or any types of heart disease. A lot of people try to claim that. And Harvard did a lot of research. Brown University did the largest research how fat cannot make a heart disease that help the heart disease to, to prevent and get rid of the heart problems with a healthy fat. And a lot of people freaked out coconut oil. Allah mentioned in the Quran, nakhla, right? Plum type fruits. So plum, nakhla is a type of, coconut is a type of nakhla too, plum type. And that's important. Coconut oil is a very powerful medicine. Lots of lots of books and research is coming out how it can help with the whole body well-being. And suffer like a cacao, like a dark chocolate. Dark chocolate prevent the heart disease and cancer. The Shanghai, they studied on the thousands of cancer patients. They found out that cacao can lower the cancer recurring and lower the cancer death rate. And look at the salt. A lot of people worry about the salt. It's our human body, who we are. Our saliva, our blood, our tears have 92 minerals. That's why salt has up to 92 minerals, like a ocean water. That's what our body needs. But doctors stopped you to take salt because we are taking too much white salt. We should not take white salt too much. We should take the whole salt, which is our body constantly needed. If you don't refill with the white salt that body need, if you don't refill our body with this whole salt, our body will be always deficient of salt, like magnesium, calcium, iron. That's we are get deficient and zinc, and then we get body get acidic, pain, you know, lack of energy, then on and on problem will be coming up. And more research coming up with this such simple, like a University of North Carolina, little like broccoli sprout. They found that it helps our body. Within a week, our immune T cell, killer cell, develop 22 times more on eating a broccoli sprout. It would change our immune system and disease healing and well-being so much, as you see the data. And so we have to just eat a, what you have to do? We have to just eat a whole food, everything in the right format, like a plants and beans and nuts and, and then animal from the grass-fed field and then wild-caught fish. That should be our food and the, not the processed carb. 
so much. And then all the spectrum you need to eat, but not processed, it's a whole ferment. That's the ideal, not the keto, not the paleo. Get the everything, whole food, and the whole format with, with the plant-based should be the most important than over or other. Of course, controlling carbohydrate is always better approach for everyone and as much you could. What else human body need to be healthy, to be well-being and, and healing? You need um, to exercise. Our body needs a movement. It to function, it to circulate the blood, to detox, to clean the toxins. What else you need? We need to have a, some natural ingredient in our body to put back what is missing. Mm -hmm.